Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am Mike. Cheers. In today's devotional, give it all to the Lord. Proverbs 16, 3. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. If, you, if you're a father, you know that somewhere between infancy and toddlerhood, children, especially boys, go through that stage where they want to assert their independence from mom and dad. It's during this time when kids often make what any adult understands are foolish decisions, lots of foolish decisions. And we've all been children, we all know that's very true. I mean, it's not the same as the uh, foolish decisions that we make as adults, but make a lot of bad choices when you're a kid. Like riding a bike down the hill and trying to surf on it and <laughs> doing a bunch of dumb things. Really, though, there's a lot of that in most of us Christian men. We speak the words of trust in God, but there is still a streak of independence in all of us that shows itself when it's time to make our plans. Rather than committing our plans to God, it's easy to charge ahead, just assuming that God is behind what we want to do. But that's a highly risky way to live. Today's verse tells us that it's wise to trust God enough with our plans to bring them to Him before moving forward. We can do that because we know that God is good and trustworthy and that He wants the very best for us in this life. <clears throat> Lord, I confess that there are times when I want to run out ahead of you, when I want to move forward with my own plans before bringing them to you. Help me to trust you enough to bring my plans to you so that you can either bless them or change them. Now, in this life, there are those times, and it don't matter if you're a male or a female on this one, we all make bad choices. It don't matter if you stand with or against Christ, we still make bad choices. We still battle with that wanting to be independent and stand on our own and prove we got it. And that whole proving yourself thing, which I'm very guilty of too, it causes us to make more mistakes than succeed. And as it was, as I was reading there, yeah, we make a lot of bad choices when we're kids trying to prove ourselves, but it's a different kind of bad choices. Like, in the parks, on the equipment, doing all sorts of stupid stunts, trying to outshine the other kids and getting really hurt or but or sometimes what even seems like it's a big injury when it's just a scrape knee because when you're a kid even the smallest scrapes are big but we really were risking a lot more than just a scrape knee on some of the stuff we did. But as an adult, the choices change and the mistakes we make can be even bigger because we're playing a we're playing a bigger game. And a lot of the choices we make 
can risk our souls. See, when we're a kid, we're under the age of accountability. You know, we're not accountable yet because our brains aren't fully developed. As an adult, though, <clears throat> we're, we're in the age of accountability where everything we do, we are held responsible for because we are no longer children, even though we become adopted children of God. We are still no longer children. Our brains are fully developed, and we know that what we are doing is either right or wrong. And if we don't know if it's right or wrong, it is best to take it to God and let him lead us and point out if it's right or wrong, which we're all guilty of at some point in life of just rolling the dice, not taking it to God. And Lord, for all the times I do that, please forgive me. But the thing is, it, I fall under this category too. We need to do better about that. We need to learn to take it to God. Especially if we are at that state of mind where we don't know if what we're doing is going to be right or wrong. Or if we know it's wrong but the heavy temptations are there and it, and it has weakened us to the point that all we're seeing is the rewards, not the consequences. Always take it to God. Let Him lead the way. Because the more we try to do it on our own, the more we stray into darkness. We need the light of Christ to lead us. And it's like I've said on here before, no matter how far you stray off the path, you're only one step away from getting back. Let God lead your way. Let Christ be your light and let the Holy Spirit guide you. You're never alone. All you have to do is ask, pray, and trust in God. He will not lead you astray, and He will keep you safe, even in the storms of life. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. Much love.